Today I'm going to show you how I knit these fun and functional tote bags using a circular knitting machine. They're really soft and cozy, and they're the perfect spring or summertime knit when we're no longer wearing our warm hats and scarves, but we still want to wear a knitted item. The bags are small to medium size, but they can still easily fit a few items. Before we get to the tutorial, I wanted to share my latest projects with you. My knitting machine sketchbook templates are available now in my Etsy shop, which can be used to sketch and design knitting machine projects, either as printables or they can be used digitally. The templates are also available in print. You can order the template work books from Amazon. You can find links to all my books and templates at dianalevinknits.com. And a big thank you to everyone who's been ordering my products. It's a huge help in allowing me to spend the time coming up with fun new projects and filming and editing these tutorials. Back to our tote bags. The bags measure approximately 9.5 inches wide by 12 inches tall including the handle. All the supplies will be linked in the description below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for lots more fun, quick and easy knitting patterns and tutorials. Here are the supplies I'm using for this project. A 48 needle Centro knitting machine, loops and threads impeccable yarn in the colors teal and barley, a crochet hook, a darning needle, a pair of scissors, stitch markers, and a knitting tag. To begin, cast onto a 48 needle knitting machine using a scrap yarn. Wrap your yarn around the first needle and then weave the yarn back and forth along all the needles until the end of the row. When you reach the end of the row, place your yarn into the middle tensioner. Knit five rows in the scrap yarn. When you finish five rows, leave a really long tail in the main color, at least a few feet, and throw it into the middle of the machine. We'll use the tail at the end of the project to seam the bag, so make sure you leave enough of a tail. Begin knitting in your main color. Go slowly for the first couple of rows to make sure the machine is catching all the stitches, and then you can speed up after a few rows. Knit 110 rows in the main color. When you finish 110 rows, cut another long tail at least a few feet, and then switch back to a scrap yarn. Knit 5 rows in the scrap yarn. When you finish 5 rows, cut a tail in the scrap yarn and crank the machine until the work falls off the needles. If the stitches get stuck on the last few needles, just pull them off manually. Pull your work out of the machine and gently stretch out the stitches. Your yarn tails are likely so long they'll get a little tangled, so before we seam the project, pull the tails apart and you can even roll them into a little ball to make them more manageable while you seam. Next, we'll seam the two sides of the tube using a crochet hook. If you need a closer look on how to seam the side of a knitting machine tube, I'll link to a video that shows the technique in detail. Flatten your work with the yarn tails to the left side and identify the top line of the main color loops, which we'll be seaming. Bring your crochet hook through the loop furthest to the right and then pull through the next loop on the top side. Next, pull through the loop on the bottom side. Continue in this pattern, alternating between top and bottom loops until the end of the row. When you finish the row, pull the long yarn tail through the last loop and secure with a knot. Here's how your seam will look now. Next, we need to remove the scrap yarn. If your scrap yarn isn't easy to pull off, identify the yarn going through the top layer of the loops and use a crochet hook or your fingers to pull through that one yarn. Once that's removed, the rest of the scrap yarn will pull off much more easily. Our first seam is complete. Next, turn your work around and repeat the exact same process on the second side of the tube and then remove the scrap yarn. Both of our seamed ends are done. The work will now measure approximately 22 inches wide and 7 inches tall. Put your work aside for now while we knit the handle. Cast on with scrap yarn to your 48 needle circular knitting machine in the same way we did earlier. Knit 5 rows in the scrap yarn. Switch to your main color, leaving at least a 6 inch tail and knit 8 rows in your main color. Switch back to the scrap yarn and knit 5 rows in the scrap yarn. Cut a long tail and crank the machine until the work falls off the needles. Very gently stretch out the stitches. If your first and last stitches aren't tight, just pull the yarn tails gently to bring them back in. Next, seam both sides of the handle using your crochet hook in the exact same way that we seamed the sides of the main piece. Remove the scrap yarn when you've finished seaming the two sides. The handle will measure approximately 7.5 or 8 inches wide by 1.5 inches tall. We now have our two pieces, the bag and the handle. Next, we'll assemble and seam the pieces. To begin, fold the right corner down, then fold the left corner up, then fold the right corner up to create a square shape on the bottom and two triangle shapes on the top. Next, use a few stitch markers to bring the pieces together while we seam the sides. I'm beginning with a corner that has the yarn tail on the top corner. Thread the long yarn tail onto a darning needle and bring it through the work to the middle center seam. Secure the yarn with a knot on the inside of the bag. Then bring the yarn to the front and we'll begin seaming. For this project, I'm using the mattress stitch to seam the sides together. Identify the two lines of knitting that you'll be stitching into, which will be the lines of V-shaped stitches directly on the sides of the tubes. Look for the little bars that are between the V-shaped stitches. We'll begin by threading the yarn on the needle through two of the bars on the left side, and then threading the yarn through two of the bars on the right side. I'll show you a little closer what the bars look like on the left, and what they look like on the right. 
Continue in this pattern sewing through two bars on the left and then two bars on the right until the end of the seam. You can also stitch them one bar at a time. Either one or two bars at a time will work. As you're seaming, remove the stitch markers along the way. As you're stitching, make sure that the work is sitting evenly. When you get to the end of the line, stitch up the last few remaining stitches, thread the yarn through to the inside of the bag, and secure the yarn tail with a knot. Our first side of our tote is seamed. Next, flip the bag over and we'll seam the other side. The next yarn tail should already be located in the middle of the bag, so you can get started seaming right away. Continue to use the mattress stitch to seam this side of the bag. When you finish the line, thread the needle into the inside of the bag and secure the tail with a knot. When you finish, you might notice that there's a small gap between the first couple of stitches of the seam. If this happens, just cut a length of yarn, tie a knot on the inside of the work, and use that yarn to stitch up the gap. Then tie a knot and weave in the ends. Our tote bag is almost complete. Next we need to seam the handle onto the bag. The bag sides are corners, so you'll be seaming half of the handle to the right side of the corner and half of the handle to the left side of the corner. For the first and last stitches, bring the yarn through both stitches like a normal sewing stitch, and for the middle stitches, switch back to the mattress stitch. Tie a knot with your yarn tails and weave in your ends. Repeat the same process on the other side. When you're done, make sure you go back to the inside of the bag and weave in any of the yarn tails. Our tote bag is almost done. The final touch is adding a knitting tag. You can add the tag anywhere in the bag, but I like putting mine right in the center. Our tote bags are complete. If you make this project, please tag me at Dinah Levine Knits on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and Pinterest. I'd love to see your work. If you'd like to check out any of my knitting machine templates, patterns, or workbooks, visit dianalevinenits.com. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a like, comment below, and subscribe to the channel for lots more fun, quick and easy knitting patterns and tutorials.